Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Alex and in today's video I am giving you a insight of what car launcher, uh, what launchers you can use for your head unit. So at the moment I had this as my default launcher. It got a bit boring so I downloaded car launcher and it kind of refreshed the way my head unit looks like. And with this you can customise it to however you want it to look like. Different fonts, colours, layout, loads of different stuff. So quickly give you a quick overview of what that looks like so here is what my i've set it up so i have my audio set up as spotify i think you can change that so if you press that actually that if you want to change that it is you basically go press that i think yep so you manage it and change it to um, if you have radio or if you have another kind of Deezer or another kind of application that's using um, your music launcher app, whatever you want to call it. So you can set that up. So I've got that as here so you can play it, forward it, blah, blah, blah. So that's connected to my internet. So that's why it's playing off that. I always use my internet to listen to, to stream music. Um, I don't really use the radio. I don't really download any music. It's a bit old school these days. Um, here... You can also change, oops, if you click here, you can see your different settings as well. So um, your speed and also it shows the address as well. I'm not going to show you that. So it's pretty cool wherever, if you set up to, if it's set up to your GPS, it'll show you the location of your road. So I'm not going to show you that. Uh, next is here, you've got your time. If you press that, if you're driving at night time and you still want your music to play but you don't want the backlight to blind you you can press that and it show you you can it shows you this and it's a dark layout so um it won't blind you but you can as i said you can change customize whatever that looks like i'll show you how you can do that here i've set up all the um, apps that i regularly use so i've got your maps play store youtube talk um live net tv chrome but you can change those if you wanted to uh, you've got that and then you can rename them, um, change the icon and things like that. So you can go ahead and set up to how you, however you want to um, set that up as. I've got this as well where you can just press that. Launch YouTube. I don't know if you want to have, if you like that kind of stuff, you can do that. But it's just a bit of a gimmick for me, really. I'm not really not going to ever use that. Um... I'm going to set up OK Google so it automatically pick up my voice and um, when I'm driving I don't need to touch the screen but I haven't set that up at the moment, I'll do that later. Other little key things that you can do is these are all your, all your applications that are set up. If I press plus and change the way it looks, um, let's go, if we go here, it makes it smaller, if you go here, I don't know, you can change the layout of it. As I said, it's really customizable. However, you want to make it look. If you want to have list look, then you can have all your stuff like that. So, pretty decent um, little launcher. Another option is if you press that, you can set um, let's set something new up. So here you can show if you want to show your speed for the day. You can go for today. If you want to see your max speed for the day, you can do today. Um, distance that you travelled, you can do it for today, week, etc. So you keep track of that. Um, average speed, total time, travel time, 0 to 60 acceleration. Um, I don't know how that would work. Um, or let's do all time. Save that. And then if you select that now, you've got all these uh, details now. Let me just close that, go back here. Yeah. So, yeah. So you can see it when you. Um, when you're driving, the stuff will update. So it's from a full time, not no point ten point one six. Not very good, is it? Because I <laughs> obviously I don't launch yet, so I'm not really. It should be around six six. But yeah, you can play around with that and see um, what you guys get. Pretty cool little little thing. Um, let's go into the settings. Let me see what happens if I press that. Okay, nothing. Okay, let's go to settings. So here is where my show warning GPS is disabled. So at the moment, my GPS is uh, set up. So wherever I am, I can see, um, like I said, on that bit here, it will show you my detail address where I am. So because it's all set up, it's going to 
give you that detail, which is pretty cool. Um, let's go back here again. Uh, I changed the units to miles, miles per hour, so that's all set up. Um, interface, you can change little things here. So Google Now, that little button here, I'll change to Google Now, I might change to Google Assistant later on. Colors, themes, you can change all of that different stuff. Backgrounds, um, you can all change it to however you want it to look. You can download your own ones as well. Um, fully customize it to however you want. Let's go back here again. Screen saver. So this is the screen saver that I had. I wanted to change the look of that speed. I don't know, put it to red for instance. Okay, you can do that. Fonts, you can change it to whatever font you want. Make it look pretty cool. Um, let's go back to stand up. I'll do this for the time being. Date format, you can have it however you want it. Yeah, let's put back to that for the time being. Layouts, you can have different kind of layouts, so depending on what your mood is. Um, so there you go. Um, screensaver, we've just done that. Audio player, start music when car launcher starts, black and white album cover. Some of the stuff I don't know, I haven't gone through with those yet, so I might play around with them a bit more. Weather settings. Um, I searched by GPS. I've, in one of the different home screen themes, it shows you the weather details. At the moment, I've got it set to this one. So if I want to put to this one, it gives you other kind of different view, different look, um, and things like that. So yeah. Um, let's go back again, change the home screen theme to back to how I wanted it like that. I think you can also download your own, yeah, the good thing about this one, if you don't like that, any of those views, you can easily go here, download your own ones. Um, I'm not sure how to do that at the moment, I have to play around with it, but you, I think you just go to um, Play Store, download a theme, and you can download your own, um, download um, extra themes. I think with the Pro one you get extra options, but I haven't downloaded that yet. Um, if we'd gone through that editing icons, so at the moment, if you don't like the way the icons look, you can change it. So I've downloaded one already, and just have to see how it looks like. At the moment you can see that's changed. If I go here, they look a little bit different, so you can play around with those kind of stuff. So, as I said, there's quite a lot of options here, um, and that goes to your Android settings. A lot of options, all you need to do is play around with it and get to your way of liking. So, yep, there you go, that's another video. Remember, remember to sub. I've got more videos coming up that I'm gonna do. Um, I've got a few bits coming, so I'm gonna do those videos in the future once they're here. Um, remember to like. If you have any comments, just write them down below. Thanks, guys.